How about you go? Yeah, go to Matthew 19 verse. You you I'm really Jewish. trying to learn? I'm Jewish. I saw the I saw the menorah. Oh, 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 okay. What the hell did you just say? I'm Jewish. I saw the I saw the menorah. Oh, 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 okay. Say it again. Say something else. Oh, say something else. Say something else. I'm Jewish. I saw the I saw the menorah. Oh, 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 okay. Now you see something. You know you don't fucked up, right? No, I said no. I said I pulled into the garage <laughs> no, and no, no, no. you know you don't fucked up, right? You done messed up, A.A. Ron. I'm Jewish. I saw the I saw the menorah. And oh, I oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm like, don't be coming over here. Just no, you no, said no, you no, said no, that okay. you're Jewish. Yeah. Okay. Can you prove to me in the Bible that no. you're a Jew? You said okay. that you're Jewish. Yeah. Okay. Can you prove to me in the Bible that nope. you're a Jew? Can you prove to me in the Bible that nope. you're a Jew? Can you prove to me in the Bible that nope. you're a Jew? That's a damn shame. Then where are you getting that from? Well, I, I don't even follow religion, I just follow culture. Culture, okay. So, where does that come from? The Jews, right? Let's, Cause I'm, I'm just going off what you said. I'm not here to cause any confusion. I'm just going off what you said. You said, that you were Jewish. So last time I checked, Christ was a Jew, right? So how do you know that you're a Jew? Could you come? I can't hear you. Could you come closer? Yeah. If you can answer the question where the first man came, then I can answer that question. First man? Okay, give me Genesis 2 and 7. Bring it up. And then I want you to answer the question. So this is how it's go. I, you ask a question, I'll answer it. Now it's going to be on you. Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground Read. and breathed into, the, into his nostrils the breath of life. So the Bible says that God formed man out of the dust of the ground. As we all know, hey, here's some dust right here. What do we know about soil? The deeper that you dig, the darker it gets. That's right. Read what you got. Of the ground. And Read it again from the top. Okay, yes, sir. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, and verse 7. Uh-huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. God says, there was prophet Moses in the book of Genesis, that he created the first man out of the dust of the ground. Yes. So are we reading what? That's the creation of the first man. Right. Now, prove to me in the Bible that you are a Jew. Prove to me that's true. No, 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 no. Because what he just did, he said, prove to me the first man. I did. Didn't I? I went to the Bible and showed him. Nope. Now I'm asking you to prove to me in the Bible that you are a Jew. That's not proof to me. Prove to me in the Bible that you are a Jew. I've stated my cause. Now it's your turn. Give me Isaiah 41 to 21. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. That didn't prove to me that, like... Read it again for him. No, Maybe no, wait, he didn't hear. Wait, wait, wait. Let's problem. read it again. That's not the problem. Well, I went to the Bible. You asked me a question, right? Did you ask me a question? Yes or no? Did you ask me a question? Yes or no? Yes. And then I went to the Bible to prove it. Now check this out. This is how it goes. Read that again. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man. From who? Man. From who? Man. From who? Man. He asked me where did the first man come from. We're reading the first book in the Bible. God formed man from the dust of the ground. Meaning what? Adam. That was the first man to ever walk the earth. Yes. Give me Isaiah 41 and 21. I have a question, I have a question. Well, oh, guess what? You're going to wait, because I'm in the Bible. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41 and verse 21. Produce your call. The Bible says what? Produce your call. The man asked me a question. He said, hey, where's the first man in the Bible? We went to Genesis 2 and 7. I did what the Bible told me to do. That's right. Read. Saith the Lord, bring forth your strong reason. The scripture also says, bring forth your strong reasonings. Why you believe that is? Because I believe every word of the Bible is true. Yes. Read. Right. What? Verse 20. Yes, sir. And the king of Jacob, let them, bring, let them bring forth and show what shall happen. Show me what shall happen. You need to show me in the Bible where you are depicted as a Jew. Right. You have yet to do that. If you're not going to show me, why are we even talking? Because when you ask me a question, I proved it. Prove to me that you are a Jew. Okay, so to prove something, there needs to be, there needs to be right. physical evidence. That somebody, who wrote what did you book? say? Who wrote that book? Give me Psalm 16 and 11, then I want Isaiah 34 and 16. 
Because you see what he's up here to do? He's up here to try to cause confusion. But guess what? We ain't the Christian church. This ain't Sunday church. No, we the people of the book. We are the Israelites, the real Jews. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapters, chapter 68 and verse 11. Read. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. The Bible says the Lord gave the word. Read. Great was them that published it. It says great was who? Great was them of those that published it. Great was those that published it. So he asked who wrote the Bible. God gave the word and he used men to write it. Yes. Who were those men? Moses. Ezekiel. Uh, Isaiah, Amos, all of those men, those are the men who wrote the Bible. Right. And let's find out what their nationality was. Let's find out who the prophets were. Give me Amos 2 and 11. Bring it out. Watch this. Who are the men that he used to write the Bible? We are going to find out today. Was it white men or was it Jews? Because there's a difference. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Amos, chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And I raised up your sons for prophets. He raised up who? Your sons for prophets. God says he raised up the Israelites for prophets. Right. The Isaiahs, the Ezekiels, the Jeremiahs. Read. And of your young men for Nazarite. Read. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? Children of who? Of Israel. So the only prophets, the only authors of this Bible are the Israelites. That's right. Now, he is yet to prove to me who the Jews are in the Bible. Guess what? Since he won't answer, I will. I Give me that. Jeremiah 14 and 2. You're done. Read what you got. Yeah, I know you are because you have no rebuttal. Okay, prove to me, me that you are a Jew. Let me talk. Proof. Let me talk. I don't think there's... There, there is proof. Uh, I'm circumcised. I had bar mitzvah. I read from the Bible. I've done things in the culture. You, you see, it's crazy. He said he read from the Bible, but before he said, "Prove to me that there's heaven. Prove to me who wrote the Bible." If you don't believe in the Bible, why are you reading from it? Right. You're making no sense. But continue. Culture. Well, he might be trying to understand. You trying to understand? Are you trying to learn? No. I just like okay. I'm, I'm Jewish in general. Like. You talk to my are parents? you a Jew or are you Jewish? I'm a Jew. Oh, you're a Jew. All right, so hey, you should bear witness with this scripture. Watch this. Let's find out what the color of the Jews are. Watch this. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Bring it up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah morning. Who morning? Judah morning. The Bible says, Judah morning, read. And the gates thereof language. They are blood. Read it again. Read it from the top. Because oh, right now, he's trying to be distractful. I want you to listen to who the Jews are. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Sis, 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 sis. We are reading the Bible. Hold on one sec. We are giving you the understanding of who the biblical Jews are, sis. Read what you got. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. To the morning and the gates thereof language. They are black. They are what? They are black. The Jews are what? Are black unto the ground. So the Bible says that these people, they're black. But guess what? I have one more scripture that is going to make perfect sense to you and you and you. And it may put fear in you, but we're going to find out. Bring Give me out. Revelations 2 and 9. Bring it out. Revelations 2 and 9. Now watch this. This is out of the mouth of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, which is from the tribe of Judah. Yes. This is what he said about his people. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. I know thy work. God says, I'm sorry, Christ says he knows thy works. Speak it to the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And tribulations. Yes. And poverty. Uh -huh. But thou art rich. But he says those Israelites, those who are in the slums and the ghettos, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you are rich because the promises pertain to you. The covenant pertains to you. Salvation pertains to you. Read. And I know the blasphemy. And he knows the what? The blasphemy. Why, hey, why, hey, listen to the Bible. Listen, this is for you. Read, read it again. And I know the blasphemy. Christ says he knows the blasphemy, which means what? The lies. The lies. Read it again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. There's a people on the earth today saying that they're Jews. But we just found out in Jeremiah 14 and 2, 
The Jews are black. So who could that be talking about? Read that again. And the, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. But who are they? Are the synagogue of Satan. But who are they? Are the synagogue of Satan. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. Bring it out. Wait, Give me Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Then I got a question for you. Read what you got. Colossians chapter. See, you see that? Now he's asking who wrote that book again, but he just said he wrote the, he read the Bible. That's how he found out his culture. That's how he found out he was a Jew. Read what you got. Colossians 2 and 8. You've been found a liar. Read. The book of Colossians. Why are you going away? I gotta do shopping. I was trying to tell you. Very respectful yeah. what you do. Like, no, no, no. Wait, well, come, 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 come. I gotta go. I gotta go. No, no, you don't have to go because you said you're a Jew. You should yeah. be happy that we're reading out of the Bible because this is the book of the Jews, right? Nope. That's this, true. this is not the book of the Jews? You believe in Jesus Christ? Yeah. Jesus Christ said that? Yes. That's the difference. A oh, Jew, a Jew and a Christian. Are you gonna let me talk? Let's not let me talk. Let's not let me talk. I'm not in the scriptures for you. I know, but there's there's two different things. There's there's look, you said Jesus Christ said something in that book. But who wrote the book you said? The prophets of God. So which why, are why are they saying that, that that Jesus Christ wrote said something? They're not even he's not even born yet. You see, wait, wait, wait. Revelations two and nine. Give me the uh, give me the uh, time period of when the book of Revelation Revelations was what written. That's what I'm trying to ask you. You're trying to, okay, I'll answer. Acts chapter I gotta six. Go, I gotta go. Chapter one verse six. I gotta go. I gotta Where go. Where do you have to go? I'm answering your question. Okay. Give me Acts chapter one verse six. Watch this. He wants to know the time period, so we're gonna give him the time period. Watch this. The book of Acts chapter one and verse six. When they were when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So this is after Christ resurrected. All right? Hold on. Read on. And he said unto them, Is it not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power? So he's telling them, hey, it's not for you to know when Christ is going to return. Read. But ye shall... But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto, unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when we and when he had asked these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a God received him. So after this time, after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, he resurrected. And read that verse again. This is what happened after. Read. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And a cloud received him out of his sight. So this is after what? Jesus Christ just ascended into heaven. Now, give me the book of Revelations 1 and 1. My book says something different. What's your book? My book is not this book. My book is the Torah. The Torah? You mean the first five books of Moses? Yeah, that's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. We have the same book. You must be crazy. Hey, good. You must be crazy. Does it say that Christian? Wait, does it say that Jesus Christ is going to come back to earth? Yes, it does. You want to find out? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sis, hey, tell the sis to come up here. He just said, this is what he just said out of his own mouth. He just said in the Torah, which is the first five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, he just said, does it say that Christ is going to come back to earth? I said yes. He says no. Now, guess what? We are going to prove it. Yes, we are going to prove it. Brother, what, what's the issue? When I say I'm going to prove it, then you have something wrong with that. Because that's not the book that I go by. You just said the Torah. The Torah. Go to Deuteronomy 18 and 15. You just said the Torah. If you are educated in any form fashion, you understand that the Torah is the book of the law, which is the first five books of Moses. So the Torah, we're reading out of the Torah right here. That's in English, first of all. Why, why is the Torah in Hebrew? What'd you say? The Torah, okay, so wait, stop, stop. In a Bible, it, Sundays, do you read Hebrew at all? Do we read Hebrew at all? Yes. I'm gonna go to the Bible to show you. Yeah, please. Give me Isaiah to give me 1 Corinthians 14. Watch this. And then I'm going to go to the Torah and show you that Christ was prophesied to return. Right. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue. And a what? And another tongue. For with stammering lips and a what? And another tongue. Which means other languages. Read. Will he speak to this people? 
Will he what? Will he speak to this people? So God understood what? That the Israelites, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, would be scattered amongst all nations. Which means what? We would learn different cultures. We would learn different religions. Most importantly, we would learn different languages. Right. Understand that. Give me that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 21. In the law, it is written, with men of other tongues. With men of what? With other tongues. Read. And other lips. And other what? And other lips. Read. Will I speak unto this people? Unto this people, Deuteronomy 4, 27. Which people? Why would he have to use different languages to speak to the Israelites? Because of this. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, I mean, chapter 4 and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you. No, 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 you don't have to go. You have to listen to this because you asked the question. Read it. And the Lord shall scatter you among all, among the nations. Read it again. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in numbers among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. So the true Israelites would be what? We would be scattered amongst the nations. That's, That's why you see the so-called blacks in South America, right. Central America, right. North America, right. Europe, Australia, parts of Africa, parts of China. You got people in China with Afros right. because we fit those curses. Right. Now, let's go to the Torah and find out the prophecy of the Messiah. Deuteronomy 18 and 15. Bring it up. Watch. Can I ask one question? Before? After I prove this, I got you. It only takes one, two scriptures. Sis, it's going to be too many. That boy sure is a running fool. I got this. You got time. Watch this. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18 and verse 15. So as you walk away, we're reading from the Torah. This is what you quoted. Read. The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. So Moses prophesied in the latter days that God would raise up a prophet from among his brethren. That is like unto the prophet Moses. Read. Unto him ye shall hearken. Unto him ye shall what? Unto him ye shall hearken. So sis, let's get the confirmation of that prophecy. Give me the book of Matthew, the 17th chapter, the 5th verse. Watch out. this, sis. This is what he said. He said, is it prophesied in the Torah that Christ should come? Now we're going to show, yes it was. Right. And then I'm going to answer your question. That's Watch right. this. Sis, listen. I got, sis, yes you can. What's that? Matthew chapter 17 and verse 5. While he, while he yet spake, behold, a bright, bright cloud, cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. That's what we just read back in Deuteronomy 18. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.